welcome back to my channel guys my name is Mayo Aoye and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this oversized jacket with shawl collar so please hit the subscribe button tap the like button and let's head right in <laughs> So now let's draft our uh, oversized jacket with shawl collar pattern and this is the basic pattern I'm going to use, I'm going to be using, this is my basic, um, full basic bodice pattern. So if you don't know how to draft this, please check out the tutorial right on top of your screen. So I'm going to be using this pattern to draft both um, the front and the back. So this is my back neckline and this is my front neckline so this border line right here will be where our button will be for the front so when i'm cutting this pattern for the back i'm going to fold this i'm going to fold the border line and cut it but when i'm cutting it for the front i'm going to leave it open as this will stand as the button stand for my jacket although this jacket doesn't have buttons but we still need this um, extra overlap in front so everything here is like one inch or one or one and a quarter inches so yeah so step one i'm going to have to enlarge this pattern because we can't use this pattern for our oversized jacket so we have to add some extra width to some parts of this pattern so the first thing i'm going to be doing right now is to um, come to the armhole right here and then i'm going to go down by one inch so I'm also going to come to this side and extend this part. That is my, this is my bust line right here. So I'm going to extend my bust line also by one inch. Then I'm also going to come to the hip here. So you come to the hip right here and also extend the hip by one inch. Then we draw a straight line from the bust line down here all the way down to the hem so this is now our new side so i'm just going to extend all my horizontal lines so this one inch that we marked marked here we have to mark it right here since this is our new side then for the shoulder line right here i'm going to extend my shoulder line by half inch then i'll have to reconnect my arm hole my arm side this way back to this spot here so this is our new ample. Let me just highlight it with my marker so you don't get confused. So the highlighted line here is the new shape of our ample and the new shape of our shoulder line and the new shape of our side. And obviously you know that this, um, uh, this pattern is meant to be longer than this because the jacket is actually longer than this. So I'll be doing that on my fabric. Now, before, because we have to um, draw in a short collar on the front, we can't use this pattern to cut both the front and the back. So this modified pattern, um, we are going to, you're going to place another piece of paper underneath this and then you trace this out. That is this, the back, you trace the back out from here. You remember, we don't need this border line for the back. So you trace this out, trace the shoulder, trace the armhole and trace the side so i'm just going to do that now so that i can have a front separate and the back separate so this is my back the traced out back pattern and this is my traced out front pattern so i'm just going to do a little bit of modification also to the shoulder of my back neck right here so at the tip here i'll raise it up by a quarter inch and then i'll connect back to my shoulder line so this is the new raised shoulder this is the new raised shoulder line so for the front i'm going to um at the neck point here i'm going to go down by a quarter inch you know for the back we raised it up by a quarter inch for the front we would um, have to reduce it by a quarter inch so this is my new shoulder line and this is my new neckline this is no longer here remember we already traced out our back and that completes it so remember there's no we do not need, there are no we don't need this for our back so we'll cut it off or you fold it when you're cutting it and we need this for the front that is to serve as the button stand although there won't be any buttons so but we need the extension so that completes it really so all i'm going to do now is to measure the length of my neckline here my black back neckline 
I'm going to measure the length and then I'll write it down somewhere. So the back neck is three and a quarter inches. Then all I have to do now is to keep the back pattern apart. We are done with the back pattern. So you keep it apart. You just add like half inch allowance here, half inch to the shoulders, quarter inch at the neckline, and then you know you don't need this. So pretty much that is it for the back. So now let's work on the short collar of our front pattern. So this is the shape, this is the outline of our pattern. So I'm just trying to make sure, I just use the marker to make sure all of the marks are consistent so we have black lines. Now to draft in the short collar, I had to add this extra bits of paper to the top and to this um, uh, extension part here. And also, this is my back neck measurement that we measured earlier, that is three and a quarter inches. So you can just add like 0 0.1 inches to it. So three and a quarter inch, this is three and a quarter inch plus 0 0.1, this is 0 0.1. So everything is now 3.4 inches. So you get the drift. So it's basically 3.35 inches, but approximately that is 3.4 inches. So yeah, so that 3 point, this 3.5 inches, I'm going to come right to the tip of my neckline. You know this is the tip of my new neckline here. So I'm going to measure that 3.4 inches up. So this is 3.4 inches, so I'll draw a line. Now I'm going to locate the midpoint of this place. That is 3.4 3 inches from here to from the tip of my neckline here to this spot here is 3.4 inches. So I'm going to divide that by two and that's going to give me 1.7 inches. So I'm just going to locate that. So this is it here. So now from this point here, I'm going to measure half inch out. Then I'm going to connect to this spot here, to this mark here. So I'm just going to blend it. So this is what I mean by me blending. So now at this point right here, I'm going to measure two three quarter inches. Then I'm going to connect. So at your neckline right here, you also measure two three quarter inches. The one we measured here, you measure it also here. And this is a, uh, this is it right here. Now you have to decide where you want the break point of your collar to be. That is the break point means where you want the collar to end around here. So for me, I want it um, somewhere around here. That's like four inches away from my ample level here so this is my break point this is where i want my collar to end now i'm going to draw a straight line from here from the tip of my neckline right here straight to this point here now i'm going to draw a curved line from here back to this point here and this completes it so i'm just going to highlight um, the shape of our uh, whole pattern and the shawl and everything So this is no longer here. We don't we no longer need this this curved basic neckline. So this is our new collar and everything. And so for the facing, because I'm not using a lining for this, because it's not a serious jacket anyways, it's just like an oversized um, coat or an oversized jacket. So you can just have your facing right here. You can just have your facing right here. So all the way straight down, you trace this out, trace this, trace this, trace this, trace this, trace this, trace this and then obviously you add the half inch around it, so you trace this out also. So guys, there's a slight error in the pattern, just because I didn't draw this um, extension line, this button extension line here, so I totally forgot that there was an, there's an extension line here so please bear with me so really this will not this lapel line this line here will not be coming here because we have to mark this on this spot here so this is the mark right here then you draw a straight line from the tip of your neckline to this spot so ignore this please because if you continue to do it this way it's going to be tight your your jacket is going to be tight so then you draw a curved line back from here, you draw it back here. So this is our line. Please forget this. I'm going to use this green highlighter to trace it so you can see it. So this is it really. So you add your allowance here. Half inch allowance. Here, 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 here. So really that is all. So this part here is the extension. This is the end. This is the rest of the extension 
down here this is our collar right here so it's really not different from what i did here i just had to um, draw our lines from here back to our button extension here and draw this also this curved line here instead of here so that's basically all i did right now so please guys don't get confused and that's pretty much it so we are not going to be sewing on that because it's an oversized jacket this that intake is going to add to the excess of the jacket and make it um bigger and oversized so this is my facing this is my facing line so i'm going to trace this out for the facing remember we no longer need so this is the facing line you go this way this way down and then come here down so yeah that's all to of that's all of it for drafting this jacket so now let's move straight to modifying our sleeve so for the sleeve this is a basic sleeve block so all the um modifications we did to our basic pattern by going down here by one inch and also going outside by one inch i have to do it also on this so that when we are attaching this sleeve to our jacket it will fit so you are going to go down this is already added allowance to this so this sleeve is going to be longer longer than this this is just i'm just using this as an illustration for you so but before i do that before i um um go down by one inch and extend this part by one inch i'm going to slash this i'm going to locate the midpoint of my sleeve and this is the midpoint so i'm going to slash it open so i already slashed this open so you place it on a piece of paper to give this some ease so this is it slashed open so now i'm going to come right here to the arm side depth here do this to my arm over here and then i'll go down by one inch just like we did for our um just like we did for our, our bodies then you extend the line out by one inch again so this is one inch then i'm going to retrace the arm side back here and then retrace this back here so this is our new arm pull. so i'll add half inch allowance here and blend it in here half inch allowance also here and blend it so i have to add extra um one inch allowance at the side one inch allowance at the side so also please note that i'm also going to add just a bit of um width to this i'm just going to add like maybe two inches no straight line down is now the side of our sleeve but to make it wider to make the sleeve wider i'm going to add maybe two inches again here and then i'll connect it to this spot so let's say i add two inches here and this is the two inch spot so i'll connect it this way and then i'll do the same also for this side so to make the um side of my sleeve a bit a line to make it wider so yeah that's pretty much everything for the sleeve so i'm just going to add a, a little piece of paper here and do the a line thing a line shape i just mentioned so this is what i mean by the slight a shape so i just extended three inches line out from here and this is it so i drew it back to my um uh, arm side so i'll do the same also for this side but because this is not the actual length of my sleeve is going my sleeve is going to be longer than this i'm just using this as an illustration for you so now i'm just going to cut all of this now on my fabric and then i'll show you how the pieces how the pieces um will look like so this is my cut out sleeve piece this is the a shape i was talking about earlier so i've already extended the length and the extra part here is the one inch allowance to join the seams of my sleeve so yeah that's pretty much it for the sleeve this is the sleeve so this is my front look at it so remember to notch this part the parts where the um, back neckline starts from and this is the facing for the front so see i stopped here and then went this way so this is my facing two is two so I have two of it, one for each side of the of the jacket. So yeah, and this is the part I'm talking about. This part here. So you notch it, make sure you notch it on the fabric. And this is my back cutout piece. On fold, I cut it on fold. So look at this. So the neckline. I added half inch allowance to the neckline. The dart, we don't need the dart. It's going to just the dart, the excess will just be there. So yeah, let's move right ahead to sewing all of this together. So for the sewing.
morning guys um the, we're going to be starting with the front um with our front fabric so yeah this is it right here and this is my interfacing i said interfacing this is my facing piece right here so i am done a bit of interfacing onto this all the way from here down to where my break point that is where my collar is going to stop so i am done some interfacing to that spot so now the first thing i'm going to do is to pick um these two right here so it's right sides together i'm going to place it right sides together and then i'm going to sew this right here by half inch i'll sew the top right here this place i'll sew it by half inch and then i'll pick up my facing piece also and then i'll do the same place it right sides together and sew by and so by half inch so then i'm going to tell you the next thing to do after that so now that this is sewn you can see this is the part i just told you to sew so you place it this way and then i'm going to place the facing piece right on top of its right sides together so you place place the facing piece this is the facing piece so this part here that we joined has to be aligned with the one we joined here so you make sure the lines touch each other also make sure that you iron this flat before you sew this one so you iron flat and then you place it right sides together like this so you can use a pin to pin this down then you sew by half inch all the way to the hem you sew it all the way to the hem and then you do the same also this way all the way to the hem so this is just for us to turn this um, at the collar and at the middle opening part so it's for us to turn it inside out neatly so I'm just going to do all of that now and then I'll show you what it looks like so guys this is it sewn and iron flat so look at it this is it this is what I explained earlier that you should stitch so I already ironed it flat so all I have to do is just turn it the right way so this is what this is going to look like now look at this all the way to the ground so, so you can go ahead to um finish the raw edges here so i already done i've already done that here this is it so now i'm going to place this this way so this is the right side so this is the right side of my jacket so this is what this is this is the neckline part this is the collar part and this is my shoulder so i'm going to pick up the back piece and then i'll lay it right sides together with this so this is the back piece i'll lay it right sides together with the front and so at the shoulders so you make sure this the facing and this the facing of the front is aligned with the shoulder of your jacket you can pin it down or sew it down then you place the shoulder this back shoulder this is the back shoulder you place it right sides together this way and then you sew down by half inch right here then you place the other side also on this side and then you sew down by half inch again so i hope you got the drift so just place this the shoulders of the back and the front together so now that's done this is the shoulders this is the shoulder shoulder one shoulder two so now all i have to do is just um to place this right side that is the rest bit of this collar we have to join it to the neckline of the back so if you know how to attach a waistband this is pretty much this will be easy for you to do so you just place we are going to be sewing it like we would um sew like we would sew a waistband so you place this this way so make sure the center of this aligns with the center of your back neckline so this is the center of my back neckline so i'm just going to make sure it aligns so it's just one i'm picking only one of the color i'm dropping this color here i'll pick only one only this one so this one i'll make sure it aligns with the center of my back neckline and then i'll sew by half inch round this way so let me just pin this down so let's just say you're done sewing this now round you then you place you pick the rest of the color so you know this one will be left you fold this by half inch again and then you begin to sew this on top 
on top of this to close it up to close everything all up i hope you got the drift so once you're done sewing one of the colors one of these so the back neckline you pick up this one and then you fold it on top of it so just like you would sew a waist band so just like you would sew a waistband so yeah that's pretty much it so i'm not going to do all of that now then once i'm done i'm then going to um sew my sleeves i'll just attach the sleeve to the side attach the second sleeve to the side sew my sides sew the side seams that's the side of the jacket and then finish the hem and that's pretty much all you have to do so i'm just going to do all of that now so, and then i'm going to show you the result of what this um jacket this oversized jacket with short collar is going to look like and that completes our oversized jacket with shawl collar tutorial please don't forget to hit the subscribe button tap the like button if you found today's tutorial helpful and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>